Okay, so what we'd like to try to do here is go ahead and demonstrate the creation and utilization of LOVs or list of values inside of ADF Rich Client. So the first thing that we probably need to do is to have an understanding of what uh, list of values actually are. So what we'll do is I've already got part of an application created here and we'll go ahead and demonstrate what something looks like with and without an LOV. So I've got my business components here and one of my business components is a move view. I've got the data control here for it and I'm going to go ahead and drop it as a as a form and what we're going to be doing is this is kind of the first part of uh, creating a search form that I'm actually going to end up creating. I'll add a submit button and take the ID away because we don't need that. Now what we have at the bottom here is a type ID and that type ID is going to be a numerical representation of the actual type for this move. And so if we can go ahead and run it, we can take a look at it. Now the problem is that we're going to have this numerical value there for that type which makes no sense for human readable uh, purposes. And what we'd like to have is the actual names there of the types and instead of the actual values. And that's what a list of values will do for us. It'll let us go ahead and map the names back to the numerical values. So you see we've got here, we've got a number there. Now if I asked you what the type for flying was, you wouldn't be able to tell me because you wouldn't know what ID it was. You'd have to have a crib sheet or something to look it up with. Luckily, what we've got here, we'll stop this container, we'll go ahead and take a look at the ERD diagram or the uh, table diagram that I've got here where I've got uh, the move table which has the type ID and it's joined over to a types table which has an ID and a name for that particular ID value. Now type tables are pretty common inside of data design and in this case what we're going to do is use that type table to populate our list of values for us on, uh, on our search page. So now to create an LOV what we do is we go into our view objects in our ADF business components and so we find our move view it's done on the view object like I said we edit the view object go to our attributes and find the attribute that we want to create an LOV over which is our type ID come down to the bottom for list of values and click on create we can go ahead and name that list of values so in this case I think we'll call it type name LOV. Next we'll need to provide a list data source. This is going to be the one that's going to give us the information that we don't already have which is our type view. And Now we need to specify the ID from that view that we're going to join to. So we've got our type ID in our existing table and we're joining to ID. We select what we want to display in the actual LOV, so name now we'll go back to the page. Now I could just go ahead and delete this field and replace it with the individual attribute from the data control, but I want you guys to see what it would look like if we did it with the exact same gestures that we created it with initially, but this time if we say we had the LOV in place already. So we go back and we grab the move, the move view, drag it over, create a form, Click our submit button, delete the ID, and oh, and of course this this is good to leave in here. Um, we need to refresh the data control after making an alteration to the view so that the application module, which is what drives our data controls, picks that change up. So we go ahead again and drag the move view over, delete the ID. And see we got our type ID now and now it's a select one choice instead of the text label. Even in the design view it already looks better. Good deal. I'll go ahead and save all and rerun.
Now, for those of you that a little acorn or a little um, Easter egg that we got in there, for those of you that are familiar with fragments and task flows, this is something that we've actually created as a that I've created as a task flow, uh, which is why we're running frame instead of the actual move input page because the move input page isn't a page; it's a fragment inside of a task flow that I've embedded inside of that frame JSPX. And so we navigate to our page. And much better. Now we've got the type ID of flying. We can click in there and select any one of our different types that we want. And what it then does is communicates back the numerical value that is related to that type based on the LOV information that we programmed in because of the type table. It's that simple. Feel free to go ahead and check out a uh, later one or later Camtasia that I'll create that shows the rest of the creation of the search form.